So? My name is Marius Williams, but most of my peers and family know me as Reese. I am an actor, a senior in high school, and class president. When I was little, I was bullied, but my mom and dad helped me through it. My dad was like a superhero to me. I was always obsessed with superheroes. They made me who I am in a huge way. Each had an origin story and something that made them who they are and what we all know. But what is my origin story? I had never really thought about it and I have never really cared until now. My class has always been a second home for me. I have started here in the sixth grade and now I'm the senior class president. Yo, that's crazy. When I found out the school was closing, I couldn't believe it. It's crazy to think that I'm the president of the last graduating class from New Media Technology Charter School ever. My dad never knew his father. He never really knew where he came from. I think it made him tougher. He had to form his own family. My godfather, Vince, was like his brother. They never turned their back on each other. Vince, he was a good dude, quiet, good dude. Did he being around and losing him impact you? Yeah, a whole lot. He was like my, you know, close friend, another one of my close friends, but he was like a brother to me too. With uh, Vince Earl, you know, I got his name. When he passed away, I found out I was home. He was in IUP. He was in a car accident. He died on impact. So that hurt me real bad. And I got his name tattooed on my arm. V-E-M, Vince Earl Manny. So yeah, that was a hurt piece. Vince's son is like my brother. I call him Thor, it's his nickname. My father is hard on me in a good way. He's a good father because he never had his father around of his own. It's because of my parents that I'm going to college and it means a lot to them since I'm their only son, especially my dad. So you didn't finish high school, at what grade? I left uh, 11th grade. 11th grade. Having me being, like me being your only son and knowing I'm about to graduate and knowing that I got accepted into college, how does that impact you and make you feel? Proud. Real proud. I couldn't ask for nothing more. Thinking toward the future has made me think a lot about the past. I know my parents are going through a lot in their lives and I've learned they didn't know much about our family history. Most of it has been lost or even stolen. To know where we came from, to know our family's origin story. Why didn't we have an origin story? and how could we rediscover it? I learned there's a lot more to history of enslavement than what the history books tell you. I never knew that there were so many groups of Africans that rebelled in Africa, on the slave ships, on plantations, and in the Americas. Their families were torn apart and sent to different places. I thought about my African ancestors being taken from their homeland and scattered across the globe. This is how our history was lost and forgotten. This is how our origin story was stolen. This is why we need to use DNA to reconnect with our ancestors. Our DNA carries thoughts, memories, ideas that can never be lost. Just like superheroes come from a faraway planet or genetic experiment, we all come from somewhere and it's a part of who we are, whether we know it or not. But when we know we can draw from our past as we look towards the future, DNA is a confirmation and affirmation of who we are and who we can be. Our leaders who fought to understand their origins have inspired other African Americans to fight back, find out more, become bigger and better, and to be remembered. Now with modern technology, the DNA process gives us a scientific way to affirm our origins. My, my uh, first thoughts of coming in, doing this project, you know, I thought it was gonna be a smooth act. You know, you do a video, you edit, and you show it. But then when you got into the process and you had to do a lot of work, you seen like how important it was because you know we had to learn about the Africans and the Middle Passage and the trans the transatlantic slave trade. We had to learn all about that, so that was interesting. And it just makes you want to get more in depth into the project to know, well, hey, where do I come from? So that makes you me more interested. And so like to know that the resource is right there, I just want to take it and open it and just read it. So I'm real anxious. On this day, your average everyday boy has fought and battled his way through a long, hard process to become a school president, a great friend, successful actor, and a Nigerian. This young boy went from not caring, just wanting an easy way out, to transforming into a caring, hardworking, 
super duper hero that knows where he's from, but the journey has just begun. The Yoruba people are an ethnic group of southern, of southwestern and north central Nigeria, as well as southern and central Benin. In West Africa, there are over 40 million Yoruba people, making them one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa. This is their origin story. The entire world was filled with water when God decided to create the world. God sent his messenger Obatala to perform the task of creating the world. Obatala brought along his helper, a man named Odawa, as well as a calabash full of earth and a chicken. Then they began their descent to earth from a rope. Along the way, they stopped over a feast where Obatala got drunk from drinking too much palm wine. Odua, finding his master drunk, picked up a calabash and the chicken and continued on the journey. When Odua reached the earth, he sprinkled earth with calabash over the water. He dropped the chicken on the earth. The chicken then ran around, spreading the earth in every direction he moved until there was land. Odua had now created earth from what would use to be water. Later when Obatala got out of his drunken haze, he discovered that Odudwa had already performed his task and he was very upset. God, however, gave him another task to perform, to create the people that would populate the earth. And that was how the world was created in a place called Elefe. So?